Now, now the um, speaking though of your your thoughts about the Constitution, I know we brought up. Uh, I brought up, I guess, Mr. Hamilton. Uh, I know that one thing that really concerned you was um, the the fact that uh, there was a potential for the executive to stay in office for uh, a considerable length of time and that you found that troubling. In fact, Mr. Hamilton, uh, I think just wanted to give us another king, <laughs> a president serving for life uh, uh, based on his good behavior. But uh, didn't you say something about uh, a fear of, um, of having people who could just continue in office? Precisely, sir. It would be no different than the uh, the intrusions and the prerogatives of, of royalty and monarchy and nobility. In fact, it was about this time, doctor, if you remember, while you were still in France, uh, we had discussed uh, the continual uh, tyrannies that could result from allowing anyone in office over too long a period of time. Yes. And this was one of the reasons why in about 1786, you had been returned uh, to our nation uh, about a year, yes. that uh, I acquired for myself, in fact, I, I have it right here. I acquired for myself a, a, a seal, a watch seal, uh -huh. uh, upon which are my initials, a T, J, but then around the perimeter of the, uh, the seal, uh, your great statement, rebellion to tyrants is uh -huh. obedience to God. Remember that? Yes, indeed. I do. I do. And um, I, I think that uh, the potential have, of, ty of tyranny is always, is always present, no matter what system one has, I suppose. But uh, the, uh, I, I still believed um, that... Um, Certainly, while while General Washington was was with us, and, and as long as he will continue to be with us, I was not as concerned about uh, about tyranny, and in, in in certainly in that highest office. But um, but none of us will be around forever, and so uh, it is a concern. 